What's going on, guys? It's Trinity Tribe. Back to a quick general read. This message is for the sign of uh, Gemini. All right, so Gemini, your channel song was uh, damaged. All right, so um, either you could be going towards somebody who's damaged or um, this is somebody who's wearing their heart on their sleeves. They're willing to show their imperfections. Um, somebody is, is trying to show somebody they're emotionally invested in a situation. Somebody's saying, don't take them for granted. This could be you or somebody else. All right. Um, I also got here, <clears throat> somebody could be on drugs. I heard um, Percocets and Zanny. So somebody is needing to make more conscious uh, decisions because this could be affecting somebody. All right, because I sense here um, somebody's trying to step up into um, this authoritative uh, position. Um, somebody's looking like like somebody's trying to make power moves at this time. And it could be uh, stagnated at this time because of some sort of drugs that somebody's taking. All right. Um, if this is a feminine, this feminine is looking for a healthy masculine energy. Um, somebody who has confidence, leads with confidence. Somebody who's loyal has leadership ability, somebody who's stable and very integral, like somebody who has integrity, all right? So Gemini, you or somebody, somebody's coming towards you at this time who knows how to delegate tasks and um, they know how to reserve their energy. Um, the problem in the situation is, is that um, somebody could be like in a six of cups energy, nostalgia, somebody's like holding on to something from the past, but they're trying to get the harmony and peace. All right. Um, whatever you're working on right now, spirit wants you not to rush the process, um, exercise patience, and somebody needs to make um, intelligent choices at this time. It's very beneficial to make choices that are smart and, and beneficial, especially if you're trying to step up into this position. Um, somebody needs to have better decision making at this time. I'm going to get one empowering question. All right. Um, anybody out there who's doing drugs, just know that, um, like, I, I'm not again. I'm not, you know, trying to tell anybody what to do, but drugs stagnate you sometimes, depending on how your energy is set up, or if you're smoking a type of weed and your your vibration isn't high enough, it puts you in a low frequency for somebody out there. So we have how and how often do I give myself permission to enjoy life? How do I feel then? All right, so somebody may need to get out more, possibly be more sociable or um, however way you enjoy yourself. Um, you like to enjoy yourself. Um, if you like the exercise or you like the yoga, is there something that makes you, is there something that you enjoy? If you like the dance, spirit wants you to get like possibly back to who you used to be or get that jovial energy back or that youthful energy that you may be lacking at this time. All right. How often do you give yourself permission to enjoy life? Somebody could feel bored right now with their lifestyle or it's something dull around this energy. We have gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So, yeah, somebody's about to step up into a position here or with the person. Somebody could be indecisive about somebody, but feeling lonely at the same time and wanting peace so somebody wants a healthy partner who's going to bring peace to them somebody's doing like a lot of somebody's like imagining like what they want their partner partner to be like and somebody could be doing some sort of transference of energy at this time an uh, empath all right so somebody's working from a distance for somebody or something like that yeah some because somebody's like deeply in love with somebody or Somebody saving themselves right now for a pure, a true love. Somebody who's going to be true to them. Because whoever commits to this person is going to be very grateful. This person is disciplined here. And spirit says that it will be a success. All right. Somebody saying don't take their love for granted though. All right. Somebody could be going through a challenge right now in which they felt like they were taken for granted. Somebody's getting intuitive messages about somebody at this time. Possibly how this person brings them peace or this love will be peaceful and true. Yeah, because somebody's needing to be set free. I'm sensing this a mind thing. And somebody's like, whatever this is going on mentally is preventing somebody from getting on their uh, on their path. All right. Somebody's trying to save somebody at this time. And somebody may not be taking heed. But at this time, somebody's wanting forgiveness here in a relationship. Somebody set themselves free. Or somebody was loose. Yeah, somebody's wanting forgiveness. We got forgiveness in relationship. I'm going to take them. All right? Because somebody, like, 
possibly didn't accept somebody for who they were or they were fearful of this person it's something like that like somebody like could have judged somebody or shunned somebody it's something like that um somebody also may need to um find out like what's important to you like what's your what's your morals values and standards what would you go for what will you accept it's something like that all right what do we have here for the sign of gemini holy spirit are you ready for a new relationship right do you wish to improve a relationship that you're in begin by romance romancing yourself you're you're you are worthy of a deep fulfilling relationship love yourself as you wish to be loved cultivate your friendships and be open to romance so like i said somebody's waiting for a, a pure love here some somebody who's going to be like who's going to be beneficial for somebody's soul growth at this time somebody's looking to grow all right possibly shift their like their direction or something this could possibly be like somebody's waiting this could possibly be a power couple that's forming are you procrastinating taking action um are you procrastinating take action and complete what you have planned speak up for yourself follow through and take the necessary steps to see your projects to see your projects to fruition have confidence in your own ability to make the th make things happen i told you somebody's looking for somebody who's confident because somebody's like trying to start something at this time and in order to step up and and do what's necessary here somebody has to be confident and disciplined all right at this time somebody could like be like you know it just said procrastinating like pussyfooting like somebody knows what they have to do but they're not doing it so it's something like that somebody gotta like get the work at this time last message here holy spirit or somebody could be procrastinating with this new love that's why in that song she said don't take me for granted somebody could have somebody waiting or something like that we have are you receiving intuitive message messages do you wish to be more intuitive quiet your mind accept communication from angels spirit guides true communication includes listening speaking and observing notice messages from the nature and your surroundings so like i said somebody's getting downloads about somebody at this time and who they should be moving forward to all right somebody could be blocking forgiveness so if somebody's like re having resentment issues at this time somebody needs to work on that especially if you want to be with this person all right do you need more sweetness in your life are you gentle with yourself and your words and thoughts treat yourself with kindness cultivate loving friends family environment be your own best friend and the best friend you could be to others so yeah all right somebody's like somebody's looking for somebody here who's gonna you know make them feel good somebody could be like in a lackluster type energy at this time all right and um somebody wants children with somebody as well but somebody could like be in this energy of nostalgia like i said or they're they're taking their intuition for granted at this time like somebody's being called to do something it's like somebody's ignoring um what they should do procrastinating maybe you know somebody possibly is not ready for a relationship it's something like that and you know with them taking all this time or or if this is a project them procrastinating it's like spirit is saying somebody need to get moving here all right <clears throat> put the work in all right what do we have here for the sign of gemini i just heard you don't gotta go to work 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 but you gotta put in work oh, oh. so somebody may not be wanting somebody to work or something like that we have the high priestess so yeah somebody's like somebody either they know somebody's secrets and what they're doing they're getting these downloads through intuitive messages somebody's initials could be b or j um also somebody here somebody's like i said somebody's having dreams about somebody downloads it's something that their intuition is telling them possibly how to step up into this king of pentacles energy and somebody's like disregarding whatever this is here and we have the five of cups and somebody's going to be in remorse here because whatever they're they're not listening to or it's something here that somebody's doing that's putting them in sadness here and we have the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck because like instead of going with the grain it's like somebody's going against the grain here all right somebody's going against the grain their better intuition their higher self at this time possibly like because the five of cups is like 
like thinking of the past to me. Somebody's like caught up on the past here. And it's like they're being granted an opportunity from the divine, but somebody's defensive here, guarded, cold, tight. It's something like that. And it's like somebody's going to wind up in grief because they're choosing to disregard their higher selves. Unless somebody's sad about what a high priestess knows. I don't know if somebody knows something about somebody and this is why somebody is fearful or somebody feels like this person's too knowledgeable. We have the Ten of Cups, but this person makes them happy. Lovers at the bottom of the deck, this could be like a twin flame. Somebody's in their head about possibly a twin flame moving forward, being help, ha happy elsewhere, possibly because they're not ready. It's something like that. Or somebody made a family outside of this, whatever this is here. Possibly somebody made a family, but somebody's sad about something at this time. Hopefully, it's not over somebody else's happiness. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck, two of swords, or somebody's like in conflict about how to get stable or possibly how to provide a lifestyle for this, this nine of pentacles, but they want to sleep with her. It's something like that. Like somebody's not willing to invest and provide a stable lifestyle for somebody, but somebody wants passion. And it seems like somebody's sad that things aren't going in their way. Yeah, we got the King of Swords here and the Ten of Swords. Like something just ends because of some sort of juggling act. All right. Also, I sense here that somebody lives in two minds. Somebody goes back and forth, back and forth, like moves are up and down. We have the Three of Pentacles here. And what it is, is that somebody's wrapped up in third parties at this time. Five of Swords here could even be being combative or malicious here. This could be like a group of three to five. Somebody's like was being combative with this high priestess. Some sort of manipulation here to manipulate somebody's happiness. Possibly because somebody's stepping up here in the, in the emperor energy. And it's like whatever plan that somebody like tried to plot on high priestess or whatever here that some somebody could have counseled somebody to do this it's like the entire plan has fell short and it's backfired so now somebody's in this energy where they went from sad to malicious hair combative it's, it's something like that going on and it's all because they chose not to listen to their intuition yeah they went against their soulmate the queen of cups and something ended here somebody could have possibly also wanted to take this queen of cups gifts get have her wrapped up in the head it's, it's like something mental here they want either wanted to destroy her healing or her happiness her path to stardom this fresh start her initiation it's, it's something like that and now somebody's feeling triggered here because possibly this it, it could be a false high priestess out there who gave some false counsel and somebody's getting karma for that here yeah for being deceptive somebody like put illusions up also, I'm sensing here if somebody drinks a lot, somebody needs to watch their cup, watch their cup or the seven of cups is somebody doing pills and whatnot. I did say that at the beginning. Somebody here could be mixing, um somebody could be mixing a lot of shit up right now. Possibly due to the sadness here. But somebody's like juggling whether or not they want to work with this group here or they want to go towards their soulmate. But they feel like the soulmate here has has already made like a decision to walk away. Um, yeah, we have the four of cups and the knight of cups in reverse. It's like somebody took their offer back, possibly because they found out about something over here, either a third party or a plan and a plot here to try to destroy somebody or something like that. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords spoke up something here, either about a family setting or something malicious that's been done. Yeah, with the um, the Page of Wands and the uh, Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it could be like a, some sort of speaker or something like that. But yeah, the Queen of Cups communicated she's walking away. But we also have two queens up here. So maybe somebody wanted a polyamorous relationship. All right. This queen of swords could have like initiated it. It's something like that. Maybe the queen of cups denied it. Somebody took their offer back. Yeah, we have the um, justice card because at this time, this queen of cups is just looking for a counterpart. All right. And we got the king of wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's about to get some communication from this king of wands. And this is the person that we were talking about in the beginning. Somebody who's about to come in and regulate and de delegate some shit. And this person means business. And this is possibly why this energy over here is pretty sad. This King of Swords, 
yeah we got king of cups so it's a couple of is a couple of men or this king of swords was working with this this king of cups against somebody's destiny or something like that and they fell it's something like that yup seven of swords trying to trick the, the queen of cups here queen of cups high priestess who's very intuitive all right there could be a gemini libra aquarius facing some sort of judgment at this time possibly because they tried to keep somebody stuck yeah try to cause a tower in somebody's life here a sickness or ending it's, it's something like that or this is going to be somebody's judgment call a sickness or ending because of what they did yeah somebody's in her head a lot holding back an offer here and it's like whatever they try to do here made somebody more powerful i don't know if this is like yeah they're blocked their their plans are blocked all right um their pathway is blocked somebody's gonna be going into their five of pentacles energy because they tried to cause somebody heartbreak here and it's, it's just not good energy all right we're gonna see um let me see though i want to shift this a little bit and see what's coming good for gemini but yeah, this could be going on now or this happened in the past. It's like somebody was going against somebody here. And whatever the plans were, they were blocked. All right. It's this seven of wands. Somebody's being called to block out some family members here. Something like that. Some family members could be deceptive. Yeah, spirit is like guiding somebody to move away. Maybe this is what their intuition is telling them. And family could be like really important to this person. But if family is being toxic like this or, they're, you know, they lying and setting shit up, spirit is saying move forward with the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody got to use their intellect here, especially if you want to heal. All right. Because we got the two of wands. Somebody's movement is being blocked here. Um, road to stardom, I just heard. Because of some sort of illusions or something somebody's doing here that's blocking them from moving forward. Yeah. Into that king of pinnacle status. All right, let's change shifts though. Uh, what's going on here? Maybe that's for a few Gemini's out there. All right, so I see the Six of Pentacles here, balance and stability coming in. Um, somebody's making their money in a legal way. Somebody needs to uh, slow down with that. All right, yeah, somebody needs to get balanced here. We got the Page of Pentacles, so I don't know. Somebody's studying in school here, um, learning a trade, or somebody's doing something here. We we got the Ace of Swords as well. Um, so if somebody came forward and told you something, it's the truth. All right. We have the six of wands, whatever you're working on here, you're going towards, you're working on, this is going to be lucrative for you. Yeah. We got the three of wands. Somebody's going to be expanding. All right. <clears throat> yep. The fool. All right. So whoever this energy is up top, you got something good coming in. You could be dealing with a, um, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo or Aries or a fire, some, a fire sign or something like that. All right, this person is good news, all right? Whoever this is, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's passionate about this person, too. It's like somebody's about to come and speak some sort of truth to you at this time about how passionate they are about you. All right, we got the Queen of Swords. Like, this person may be scared to come forward. They feel like you're, you're blunt, or maybe they scared to come forward and talk. Yeah, this person could feel, like, below you. Yeah, we got the Strength card. So somebody like feels like it's like pulling teeth out their mouth, coming to communicate to somebody, possibly a truth about a third party. Maybe this is like once they clear their conscience about this truth, this is when this alliance can form. But somebody needs to take action here. Yeah, because somebody wants to work with somebody and they pop they, like they, they trying to manipulate an opportunity. Yeah, with the star, somebody wants to work with a star. Somebody possibly got downloads that somebody is a star. Last few messages here. Then we're going to see what's coming in love. Yeah, we have the high priestess. Somebody wants to come towards this high priestess. They're just afraid about what this person knows. Or they feel like they, they have less than this high priestess, this empress. They feel like this empress like uh dominates them or this empress is in the light more. It's something like that. Like this person doesn't like how much attention somebody gets. Or it's something like that. So this is causing them to stagnate their movement. Somebody's letting their thoughts conquer them at this time. Conquer their movement. Like somebody's feeling below possibly a woman. They, they could feel like they should be the breadwinner or making all the money or something like that. Yeah, Spirit is saying keep an open mind. If if somebody's operating like that, that's not good energy. Everything about is about teamwork here. You got to work with this person, not work against them or have toxic thoughts or try to get them to end things here. Yeah, this is a past life relationship. Somebody's in separation 
at this time due to some unspoken truth or it's like a third party it's, it's something toxic that somebody tried to do here and it didn't work out yeah we had made the effort like somebody possibly could have been pulling back here from a soulmate yeah, it could have walked away or somebody walked away here because somebody was not making the effort but somebody recognized somebody's soul this high priestess knew this person's soul but this person like they didn't know that they were destined to marry somebody here or at this time somebody could be freeing themselves from a marriage somebody likes how somebody brings the playful energy out of them the uh, intimate conversations or something that you guys had um, somebody feels like you have that childlike energy. They could possibly want to make a baby with you or somebody made a baby or you have children, whatever the case may be. But this could be the one. Spirit is telling somebody to give their relationship a chance. Somebody could have been like judging something way too soon. And um, now they're figuring out something possible for something ended. A fiery climax approaches. Yeah, somebody's starting to, you know, feel whatever has occurred here. And we have you are good enough. So we have Virgo and Aries out there. I don't know. Somebody like some like I said, somebody feels beneath somebody at this time. Spirit of saying, look at the bigger picture. So we got Sagittarius out there, Virgo and Aries. You could be dealing with one of those energies. But Spirit of saying, look at the bigger picture. Somebody's closed-minded, or you know, somebody gotta get out of this energy. Like I said, just lackluster energy. Feeling feeling inferior, not good enough, and all of this negative shit. Yeah, we got a win-win is out. A win-win outcome is in a forecast. We meditate and uh and levitate. Your commitment is being tested. So this is a this is a test right here. All right. And um so in order to get through this test, somebody has to use their intuition. All right. Is this what is this person here? Uh is there any secrets behind this person? What is this person hiding here? I don't know, something to do with theft. Maybe this is something that this person stole from you, Gemini, or you stole from somebody, or somebody tried to steal something, stole somebody's time, tried to steal energy. What? It's something. We got the number 24 out there. Yeah, we have great fortune. It's like somebody stole some money. We got the number 26 out there. Maybe somebody stole some money from somebody here, and we have occupation. This could be somebody who they work with here, but somebody about to get a message. Or somebody's like whoever was stolen from or done dirty here. I don't know. It's not looking good for somebody with the coffin cart at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be in bad health at this time. But also, um, how I look at this is uh somebody's about to like get a new job as well. Yeah, message about some great fortune or a payout here. Possibly that if, if nobody stole from you, there's a payout that's about to be returned to somebody at this time that was taken from them. All right, we got 26 out there, 24, 34, and we got the number seven. So it's divinely guided by the most high for this to happen. Yeah, for somebody to receive these gifts. And whoever done it here, this person's in concern at this time. All right, yeah, it's for taking this unexpected income, this person is being felt out as a false person. All right, can I have a message here for um for Gemini uh, Zodiac? Who, who could Gemini be dealing with at this time? Who's coming towards Gemini or... Who's Gemini's person? What do we have here for the sign of Gemini? Who's coming towards Gemini at this time? Who is Gemini dealing with? I always hear Scorpio in my mind. All right, who's Gemini? So we got Pisces out here. Or somebody needs to change their energy. <laughs> Who is Gemini dealing with at this time? Yeah, because like it's like somebody's feeling stuck at this time here. And because they're stuck, there's no movement. We have Taurus, we have Leo. Somebody could also be stubborn or somebody lives in pride and ego. And we have Sagittarius, Taurus, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces. Anybody else here, Holy Spirit? That's it. All right, so I think that's it, Gemini.
main message though somebody needs to step up here somebody got to step into a different energy and we have virgo so that's all i had for you guys if this resonated one bit like share and subscribe